After draping my client with a neck strip for sanitation purpose, I will section the hair, dividing it from the parietal bridges and the top hair. I will then grab a guard number three to cut down the areas that I will be working on. Starting at my right side temple point, working my way around. Then I will grab a guard number four to bring the weight down from the parietal bridges. Open lever. I will use a flat barber comb with my wall magic clip using the clipper over comb technique. Starting on my right side temple point. Working into my left side temple point and then ending in my crown area. I will now use my wall magic clip close to start my zero guideline. I will end in the crown area. I will use my detailer T blade to remove excessive hair. I will open my lever on my wall magic clip and create my second guideline. I will repeat the same thing, leaving my crown area for last. I will now use my one on my wall magic clip, open lever creating another guideline. I will then repeat the same on the right side temple point, ending in the crown area. I will now use a one and a half closed lever to create another guideline. I will now use a number, number two, open and close to remove excessive hair. I call this detail and defade. I will now use my magic clip, open and close lever to remove the zero guideline. I will repeat the same on my right side temple point, working my way into under the crown area. Open and close my num guard number one to clean the fade. I will use my detailer to shape the hairline. I will start in the middle and work my way to the corners. I will use the corner of the T-blade on the right temple to create an arc. I will repeat the same process Now I will use a straight blade for detailing. I will begin in the shape and work my way to the neck. Now I will begin the right side temple. Point. Work my way into the neck area. I will begin sectioning with a flat barber comb, creating a left side and a right side.
I will use my wall barber comb and my wall magic clip to crop the top. I will now switch sides. Continue cropping. Finally, I will cross check and add product and begin styling. I will add hairspray for a better hold. After draping my client with a neck strip, for sanitation purpose, I will grab a guard number three on my wall magic clip, closed lever to cut down the areas that I will be working on. From our first guideline, I will use open lever, wall magic clip, starting at the left side temple point. I will repeat the same on the left side temple point, ending in the crown area. I will now close my lever and make my zero guideline. I will repeat the same process on the right side temple point, working my way into the crown area. I will use my detailer for excessive hair, starting on my left side temple point, working around, and on my right side temple point. I will play with my lever starting on my left side temple point to slowly merge the zero gap line. I will repeat the same process on the left side temple point. I will end in the crown area. I will now grab a card number one, open lever creating another guideline on my right side temple point. Then I will close my lever to merge my one guideline. I will then grab a guard half and start merging. I will then repeat my fading technique on the left side temple point. Guard number one open then closed, then a half guard to clean the fade. I will then start using my fading technique in the crown area, lever open, lever closed on my guard number one, then finish merging with my half guard on my wall magic clip. Then I will grab a guard number four, to cut the whole top I will cut in different I will then use a guard number three close lever on my wall magic clip and cutting above the parietal ridge on each temple side and on the crown area to keep a now to keep a nice perfect round profile look now I'll, i will open my guard number three lever to remove excessive hair i 
I will then use a one and a half close to merge the last guideline. I will repeat the same process on my right side temple point, ending in my crown area. I will then use a guard number two to remove excessive hair. Then I will finish detailing the fade with the guard number one, open and close. I will use my detailer for shaping beginning and the middle, working my way to each corner. I will use the edges of the detailer to create nice sharp edges. I will now repeat the same process on my left side temple point. I will finalize the shape up with a straight blade. For detailing, and a better clean look. I will add product to my customer to finalize. And this represents my ball fade task. I will begin by draping my client for sanitation purpose, and then I will separate hair from parietal ridges and top hair. I will begin to cut with a guard number two wall magic clip closed lip to cut the area that I will be working on. I will begin brainstorming in the crown area. I will use the edges of my detailer to get into detail for my design. I will now blend out my sideburns with my detailers. I will begin to erase the hair with my five star shaver in all three parts, beginning on my left side temple point. I will repeat the same in the neck area. I will now open my lever on my wall magic clip, creating a second guideline. I will now open and close my lever to merge after I had repeated the same in all three seconds.
will now grab a guard number one open lever, creating another guideline in the neck area. I will now grab a half guard, close lever, and begin merging. I will then grab a one and a half to finalize my blend on each section, left temple point, neck area, and right temple point. Then I will use my detailer, five star series, and begin the shape up, beginning in the middle and working my way to each corner. I will use the corner of my T-blade. After finalizing the front shape up, I will then work my way down to the neck areas in the left and right lower neck area. After opening the pores with the steamer, I will begin detailing with a straight blade. I will now add contrast, beginning with a guard one and a half on my wall magic clip. I will work my way down in certain areas for a better look on the design. I will cut bulkiness in certain areas. And this completes my creative cut task.